is way too early. Before 7.15? I'm never up this early, what am I doing? Good morning guys, Jimmy here again with One Road on YouTube. Sorry for the lack of enthusiasm right now. It is about 7.15 in the morning and I haven't been up this early, I'm not kidding you, in years. But, I'm on a mission today. I am driving the 95 Suburban and it is just about empty on gas. And there's a fuel station here by my house that carries ethanol free gas. When I saw that, I'm like, man, I gotta try that. My fuel tank's empty. I think it's the perfect time to fill up my entire tank, which is about 43 gallons. Um, I'm sure there's probably three gallons in there right now. Fill up my entire tank with ethanol free fuel. So let's do it. All right guys, now this stuff isn't cheap. It's 325 a gallon compared to I think 290, 295 is what that sign's saying right there. And we got the blue pump going and this is gonna put in probably 40 gallons if my credit card will allow the, uh, the amount, so we'll see. So this is my 95 guys. I love, love, love this truck. I actually bought this thing with only, I think it was like 33,000 miles on it or something like that literal garage find bought it for 3500 bucks and uh, it was at a point when fuel prices were pretty high so these big heavy trucks were uh, definitely selling uh, cheap and that's when I like to buy them and you can see my current mileage on this truck is 75,000 those are original miles never been rebuilt never been slapped in with a new engine or anything like that it has the stock blue interior but is in very good shape uh, this seat has the worst, you know, wear on it, but there's not really much wear. Um, it's just kind of some crinkling from me getting in and out, but I mean this, other than it being blue, which I guess I don't mind, it's actually really nice. This is the SLE model, and uh, four-wheel drive, if I didn't mention that. I got all my photography equipment here because today I am actually headed out. I have to drive about an hour uh, from here in Spokane, and... Uh, go to a client's house, I'm shooting their house, uh, I'm a real estate photographer as well as portrait photographer and everything like that, so um, yeah, so today I am shooting a house and I have to drive pretty far. So I figured this would be a good chance to test this ethanol free fuel to see uh, if there are any benefits to it. I mean, does it give you more power? Does it give you better fuel mileage? I'm gonna be testing all that stuff. Looks like something's going down. Well, it looks like my card stopped at about 100 bucks there, 30 gallons. All right, I was able to get the pump going again and we are on our way to about 40 gallons. Or not, looks like we stopped at 5.46, so it looks like I put in probably 35, 36 gallons about there. All right, this is where we're going, guys. I am here in Spokane and we are headed all the way out to Ford, uh, Washington I guess so we're gonna be driving for about an hour better get on my way you can see I got a full tank there full tank of gas we're idling pretty good everything seems pretty normal what I'm gonna be testing is basically fuel mileage number one because um, I've heard that by getting this uh, ethanol free gas it's more pure and and therefore you're, it's gonna burn hotter and and uh, meaner and hopefully give you some more power along with better fuel mileage. So this truck, uh, I mean consistently, I'm about 12 miles a gallon regardless of the situation. I mean I towed a huge 6x12 trailer full, jam packed full cross country with this truck. And uh, I mean I was revving it out constantly going uphills and I still was averaging about 11 and a half miles a gallon. So um, for some reason this truck just likes to stick right around that 12 mark. So we'll see you know, if there's any major improvement uh, with my fuel mileage, I'm definitely going to run the entire tank or possibly I'll do half and then fill it up and see how much fuel I used and how many miles I've, I've driven. I've zeroed out my trip meter and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do everything I can to tr just give you a, a, a truthful and honest opinion on this ethanol free gas because I am truly curious myself. Well, I'm out here in farmland right now, and uh, it's beautiful. 
I love drives like this, guys. It's just scenic drives. I love driving, but especially when you have good stuff to look at. Wow. Just entered this little town called Reardon. And uh, yeah, just a little small town, I guess. Continue on Washington 231 North for 10 miles. We've got these big uh, silos here. Man, looks like the water is creeping up onto the road. That's not good. All right, I got stopped by a uh, sign holder here. But I get to look at some horses up on the hill. Hey, my fans just kicked on. So I have dual electric fans in this truck from Flexolite, and uh, I was having power issues when my voltmeter would drop all the way down into the red when these fans would kick on, but seems like everything's doing okay right now. Well, so far the truck seems to be running exactly as it normally does. I don't notice any extra power or anything like that. Um, I don't know if it's idling smoother, it might be possibly, or, or if that's just a placebo effect, I'm not sure. Um, but everything, temperatures and everything seems to be normal, as I would expect it to be. But uh, I guess the real test is going to be when we actually figure out my fuel mileage. However, I have to put an asterisk there because this last tank of fuel I had, um, normally on this 43 gallon tank I can travel probably close to 500 miles, but this time around, I think I was somewhere in the range of like 350 to 400 or so. So I don't know if I have an issue, uh, maybe this truck needs a tune up, new spark plugs or something like that, I don't know. Uh, but we'll see regardless what my fuel mileage is on this big 95 Suburban running this uh, 87 octane ethanol free fuel. Alright, looks like we got this spot truck that I got to follow here. Pilot car, follow me, look at that. Well, it looks like we're coming up on uh, something here. Maybe they're replacing guardrail? Yeah, that's what they're doing. Sure is beautiful up here, though. All right, well, we're now on a dirt road, and I've been traveling down this dirt road for a few miles. Luckily, it doesn't have those little bumps in it that kind of rattle your car to death. All right, I thought I'd get out and check out where I'm at, because it's beautiful. You can see there's a little river going down there. There's the burb. She's dirty though, I gotta clean her up. You can hear my fans running. Love those things. All right, let's get back in. Wow, guys, okay. Had to get out again. Look at this. This water is covering the road. And it's going underneath this bridge and flowing that way. Isn't that nuts? I had more of those to drive through. Look at this coyote, guys. Just ran down the hill right in front of me. At this point of the video, you're probably wondering, okay, what are the results? Well, I'm about to tell you. As I stated in the video, I didn't really see very much difference in power or performance or anything like that. So. Anything that I may have even thought, I think was totally placebo effect. Um, 
The truck didn't run worse, it didn't run better, it just ran. I was able to get through the entire tank of gas. It took me a while, which is why you can see I now have a shaved head rather than the long hair I had in the video, but I got through the whole tank of gas. So it looks like when I filled up at Costco, which is usually where I fill up, I put in about 35.991 gallons of gas, and I'm just gonna call that 36. And I also drove about 414 miles throughout that 36 gallons of gas. If we do the math on that, we are coming up with about 11.5 miles a gallon. And that, as I was telling you in the beginning of the video, is very, very normal. Now there is something to mention, about midway through that tank of gas, I had to make a couple of runs to the dump and I did have to re-rent from U-Haul another six by 12 trailer and filled it two, two separate times with uh, you know green waste, um, which weighed about 2,000 pounds each time. So I did that and towed that trailer with the same tank of gas and with these same calculations. So just keep that in mind. I'm not expecting that to have really swayed the results. I think here where I live now, I'm doing a lot more city driving, a lot more stop and go. And so therefore my fuel mileage has gone from about 12 to you know, even up to 14 down to about 11 and a half, which I was seeing before the ethanol free fuel. Bottom line, ethanol free fuel, is it worth it? Is it worth the extra expense? I don't think so. I would probably rather pay that price for premium fuel, premium octane 92, than just the 87 octane ethanol free. But that's just me. Let me know if you guys have any different experiences. If you've ever run an entire tank of ethanol free fuel, I'd love to hear your comments down in the comment section below. Other than that, guys, I just wanted to say thank you for watching this entire video. My name is Jimmy. This channel is called One Road, and uh, it'd be great if you could hit the thumbs up and even subscribe to this channel if you like my content. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video.